I'm just listening to the clock go ticking. I am waiting as the time goes by. I think Hi everyone! So today I'm going for a picnic with my friends and watching ballet under the stars. And I decided to do a tutorial on this peachy, bronzy, pink look that. I've been loving with all the products that I've been using so far. So if you want to know more about this look, then stay tuned! I'm mixing Skin Foods Red Orange Jelly BB Cream in number 2 Natural with Nymph Aura Volumer in number 2 Brilliant. You want to make sure you use a foundation that has SPF protection if you're going to be under the sun. And mine has SPF 20 PA++, which will help to protect my skin from UV rays longer. This combination tends to make my face look slightly fairer in photos. But you can see that it blends fairly well together. I'm using a blush brush to blend instead of my foundation brush. It's cause I haven't cleaned my foundation brushes yet. So a blush brush or any dense brush works incredibly well for blending. Taking my concealer from Makeup Forever in R330, I am just using this to cover my pimples, birthmark and highlight my T-zone as well as under my eyes. I'm going to use the same blush brush to gently pat and blend this in. I'm going to set my foundation with Sephora's Mattifying Powder in D30 Medium. So this helps to bring my whitened face back to its natural colour while setting my foundation to last me through the evening. I'm using Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes and blend this in with my fingers. Now, I'm drawing in my eyebrows with a soft black pencil, making it more angular on the inside and extending the brow softer on the outside. With an angular brush, I'm taking this dark brown colour from the Sonia Kashuk palette and patting this on to set the brows and make it look more natural. It's the warmth of holding you till I'm infused by your sun. I'm using Stila's Smudge Pot and Kitten as a base for my eyelids, and I'm just blending this in with my fingers. Taking this reddish pink colour from Maybelline Hyper Diamonds palette with my Sigma E55 shading brush, I'm just patting this into the outer corner of my eyes and sweeping this down towards the inner eyelids and across my crease as well. Now with my Sigma E30 pencil brush, I'm taking this reddish brown colour from the Sonia Kashuk palette and building up the colour on the outer corners. I'm just gently patting the colour in, staying close to the eyelids and going just halfway into the crease. No time to think 
just can't explain no 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 I'm also applying the same color to the bottom outer corner of my eyes this helps to define the eyes a lot more the sweetest touch that I just can't with the other side of my pencil brush, I'm taking this light peachy shade from the Maybelline palette and applying this to the bottom of my eyelids, concentrating on the inner corners. This will really help to brighten up the eyes in a natural and peachy way. Taking my clean Sigma E40 tapered blending brush, I'm just swirling this in the outer corners and blending the crease area as well. Taking the lightest cream shade from the Sonia Kashuk palette, using my Sigma E70 angled shading brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. To give my eyes a tinge of summer sparkle, I'm taking this shimmery pigment from the Maybelline palette and patting this on the center of my lids. People say you cannot do. Now I'm going to line my eyes with Max Black Track Fluid Line and my Sigma E65 Small Angle Brush. I'm just following the natural shape of my eyes this time and keeping it really close to the lids. It's gone away. Still too young to know her heart She'll return her love renewed From the outer corner, I'm just patting the liner downwards to tight line only the outer one-third of my bottom lids I'm using my fingers to gently smudge out the ends for a slight natural wing when I had no one to call All the world had shut me down I showed up Like what I did with my eyebrows, I'm setting my gel liner with the dark brown shade. With the same brush, I'm just patting this gently over the eyeliner. Many times For contouring, I'm taking a mixture of these two tan shades from the Coastal Sands palette. Using my Sigma F40 Large Angle Brush, I'm sweeping this in across my jawline and temples. Gently pressing the brush hairs, I'm sweeping this into the sides of my nose to contour it as well. Taking this white shade, I'm going to highlight my nose in the center as well as under my eyes. With the same brush, I'm taking this peach highlight shade and sweeping this across my cheeks. It first started cold night, lying in the dark. I felt my heart was trying to find a place for you to stay, a place where I'd feel safe. For an extra bronzy glow, I'm taking my Milani Baked Bronzer in number 4 glow and brushing this across the apples of my cheeks, sweeping it up to my ears. For the lips, I'm applying EOS Lip Balm to keep them moisturized and protected. I'm taking Revlon's Lip Butter in Lollipop and patting this over my lips. Take my hand, let's go into the trees Behind the branches falling on our knees I remember feeling like For a lasting shine, I'm applying Chanel's lip gloss in number 108 constellation Anything we have known, anything we've forgotten Final look, 
I'm going to show you my outfit for the day as well. I'm wearing a preppy blouse from Abercrombie & Fitch with a floral skirt from Topshop. I love how the skirt comes with the purple belt lining and how it's flowy and crease-free. I've paired this outfit with nude elastic pumps from Ruby. For accessories, I'm wearing a human-blown glass pendant with peach-coloured floral designs. This was a gift from Deo's mom all the way from Santorini and I absolutely love it. I'm wearing my peach colored flower ring from Korea and this rainbow bracelet from Ben who bought it for me from the Philippines. I'm also carrying my bright yellow Kate Spade bag for a bright burst of color this summer and I'm off to my picnic. Please subscribe, like and comment below for more videos and thanks for watching!